Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you my relaxing evening routine as well as six tips to help you have a good night's sleep. So tip number one is make time. We all lead busy lives so it's important to get in the right frame of mind and make time to wind down and relax before bedtime. Now I usually switch off around 9 so that means shutting down and signing off from all electronics so that I'm just focused and feeling relaxed and ready for a good night's sleep. Next it's time to get comfortable and cosy. So before I do anything else I like to get into my pyjamas so that I feel more comfortable and this also lets my body know that it's time to get into sleep mode. I also actually leave my phone outside now so that it's just out of sight and I'm not tempted to pick it up when I'm ready to finally go to bed. Moving on to tip three, which is to create time for you. So for me, this means doing my normal evening skincare routine, which always feels like a pamper session. I'll also link my current skincare routine, which I posted a few weeks ago down below. I am using a new cleanser from Sister & Co, so I will keep you updated um, about this one over on the blog. Once I'm fully ready for bed, I feel it's important to plan ahead for the next day. So whatever your morning routine is, be sure to get organised and have everything out ready so it's easier for you to be more time efficient the next day. I like to get out all my morning beauty products and place them by the shower. I also get my gym bag and lay out my workout gear so I'm ready to go. Tip number five is to set the mood. I always feel this is an essential part of helping me wind down properly and just setting the right vibes and intentions for a good night's sleep. For me, I like to make a cup of sleep easy tea. My favorite one is from Clipper. Then I take this upstairs and add a few drops of lavender oil to my diffuser. You guys, I'm actually obsessed with blending and diffusing oils at the moment at certain times of the day. So if you guys want me to do a whole video on this, then leave a comment down below. Then another thing I like to do is spray a sleep mist onto my pillow and also rub some essential oils onto my pulse points. Lastly, tip number six is just to relax. I always say the bedroom is for three things only, relaxing, reading and romance. So first off, I like to close out the day by writing down all the positive things I'm grateful for from that day. Then I read a few chapters of my book. I'm actually trying to read a book a month, so I'll link down below the books I've read this year so far. Finally, by about 11, I can feel my eyes start to close, and I know it's time to switch off and get a good night's sleep. So guys, thank you so much for watching and give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful in some way. I really hope you did and also if you want me to do a morning routine then let me know in the comments down below. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend guys and I will see you then. Take care, bye.